Hey guys, in today's video we are going to be talking about averages. We are going to begin by defining what averages are. Uh, the average of a data set, as you can read here, the average of a data set is meant to show a value that is representative of the entire set. Now what does that mean? First of all, representative. I want to define that word because some of you may not know what it is. Uh, a representative of a group, basically, is someone who speaks for that group. So, like a class president, let's say. The class president represents the entire class, right? <clears throat> Great. Now, what does it mean to be the representative of a set? Uh, well, what that basically means is uh, giving, uh, giving you a number that gives you a general idea of how much each of the numbers of the set are. Let me explain. Let's say that someone tells you that in a basketball game, uh, game, player one scored 10 points, player two scored 15 points, player three scored 11 points, player four 20, player five 19. And we ask the question about how many points did each player score? Because maybe um, there are a lot more players, and maybe the numbers are more complicated, and I don't want to look at each one of these one by one. I just want a general idea of how many points did each player score, right? Now, to answer that question, the other person would have to figure out the average of this data set. This is a data set, okay? There's players, and there's the number of points they scored. That's a data set. They would have to figure out the average of this data set and then tell us that each player scored about whatever they found that many points okay how though how do you find the average to find the average what you would do is you would add up all of the points and then divide whatever you find by the number of players so here we would do 10 and 15 and 11 and 20 and 19 divided by 5. Well, all of this put together makes 75, and 75 divided by 5 gives me 15. So the answer would be that each player, let's say player, scored an average of 15 points. And that value is the most representative of the entire set. Now, what does that mean? Okay. What does it mean to be the most representative value of that set? Let's say that I ask you a question, but to answer for you as a class, you can only choose one person to answer, right? Well, you would want to choose the person whose opinion on the matter, on the question that I asked, represents the most people in the class in the best way. So, an example, let's say I ask you, how many of you, no, uh, let's say I ask you, where do you want to go during break? And 10 of you want to go to the football field, and one person wants to go to, let's say, the trampoline and the another person wants to go to the donkeys the most representative person uh, the best way to represent the class would be to choose someone who wants to go to the football field right because that's what most of the people in the class want to do so uh, <clears throat> that is what it means to have the most representative value uh, in a data set uh, choosing a number in this case 15 that best represents all of this, saying that the, each player scored about 15 points is the most accurate number that I can choose. If I were to say like each player scored about 20 points, no, that'd be wrong because most players scored way less than that. The average is 15. Now, you might be thinking, all right, but what does this have to do with what we were talking about yesterday? Yesterday we were, we were talking about charts, right? Well, both charts and averages are a great way of managing lots and lots of data. 
So here, for example, I've made a chart where you can see uh, the scores of each student in a class on a test, right? And let's say that the teacher of this class wants to know how well the entire class understood the subject that they were tested on. What they would have to do is find the average of the scores, of all the scores. So here, let's see the scores. Alice scored 100. So let's write this down because you can see that her bar reaches all the way up to 100. So she scored 100. Nick scored 90. So we're going to put it all the way up to 90. Mike got halfway between 80 and 90, so we're going to put that at 85. That's an estimation, really. It doesn't touch exactly one of the numbers, but we'll say it's 85 since it's halfway. John reached 20, so he scored 20. Kate got 100%. Monica got halfway between 70 and 80, so that's 75. Adam got 90. And Christine got 80. Right? And this teacher wants to understand, okay, did this class understand the subject well? What they would have to do is add up all of the scores, all of them, and then divide by the number of students. So they would do 100 plus 90 plus 85 plus 20 plus 100 plus 75 plus 90 plus 80, and then divide all of that by 5. Divide all of this by 5. Okay, let's do this calculation. Let's move it over here. So, 190 gives me 190. 190 plus 85 would give me 275. 275 plus 20 would give me 295. 295 plus 100 would give me 395. 395 plus 75 would give me 400. Wait, no, no would give me 470. 470 plus 90 would give me 500 and 60. Yeah, sorry about that, blacked out. 560 and 80 would give me 640. <laughs> okay. Wait, why am I dividing by five? Sorry, there are actually eight students, so I should be I should be dividing by eight. That was a mistake on my part. Sorry. And here I'm going to put an equal sign. <clears throat> so all of this adds up to six hundred and forty, and now I have to do six hundred and forty divided by. Well, I know that 64 divided by 8 makes 8, so this is going to be 80. So the average score of the class is 80%. That's a pretty good score. I'd say that this class understood the subject. But you could see, and here's where charts help, that this one uh, student had a bit of a hard time. Now, maybe they missed a few classes, maybe they didn't understand the subject all that well. So with, the, with this data set, with the chart and the average, tells the teacher basically is that, okay, the class understood the subject pretty well, but you need to help out this student a little more to understand the subject better. And this is how data uh, 
organization with charts and averages can be really, really helpful to help us understand our data set a whole lot more. Next up, and this is the last one, we want to find, we, we have basically this data set of an entire week and the temperature each day. Now, careful, this is the average temperature per, per day. Okay, so it wasn't 25 degrees throughout the entire day. It was, the, it was just that if we took all the temperatures throughout the day and let's say wanted to find their average, what we would have gotten on Monday was 25, on Tuesday it would have been 26, on Wednesday 23, and so on. Okay, and let's say that someone asks us, was the past week very hot? Well, first we would have to define what they mean by hot, very hot. And let's say that they mean, was it over 25 degrees? Nobody would ask you that exactly like this, but let's say that they did. Was the past week over 25 degrees? Was the temperature of the past week over 25 degrees? What we would do, basically, is we would take these values, the temperature throughout the week, add them all together, and divide them by the number of days. So here we can just write it like this, 25 plus 26 plus 23 plus 24 plus 25 plus 26 plus 26. Mm, yeah. And all of this divided by five. Now let's make this correct. Okay, so how much is this, all of this, if I add it all up? Well, let's see. Well, since we have them written vertically here, we can just do it here. 5 and 6 makes 11, and 3 makes 14, and 4 makes 18, and 5 makes 23, and 6 makes 29, and 6 makes 35. So I would write 5 and carry 3. And then all these 2s together make 14, and 3 that I carried over would be 17. So overall, that would be 175 over 5, over 7, again with the 5. Sorry about that, again with the 5. This was supposed to be 7 because there are 7 days. I shouldn't be dividing by 5. So 175 over 5, over 7. And now I want to do this division, 175 divided by 7. So I would say how many times does a 7 fit into 17? That would be twice. And then how many times does 7 go into, well, I would get 35 here. You can do this division vertically if you want to. That's perfectly fine. And what I would get is 25. So... Was it over 25 degrees? No, the average temperature was exactly 25 degrees, so it wasn't really that hot. Uh, so that was an example of how, um, another example basically, of how we would use averages and how we find um, the average of a, da a data set. Uh, so tomorrow, and on Thursday, you, you have worksheets on the platform, so I want you to try and do those. And then on Friday, we're going to solve them together through a video. So I will see you guys again on Friday. Bye.